Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for mini awesome cast at awesomecast.net. Please check out everything going on. Awesome cast uh, up this week. We're talking about uh, uh, keyboards that that Kentucky Fried Chicken are giving you to so you don't get grease on your phone with these Bluetooth keyboards. It's weird. Everybody's stealing them in Germany. Weird, weird, uh, and so much other stuff. Uh, uh, automatic getting getting updated and uh, uh, Android uh, Android. Uh, 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 emulators. Uh, we, we had a lot of fun on the show. Uh, just chill and I hanging, kicking back, and talking geeky stuff. And please check out our awesome chat this week coming up on Thursday, uh, talking with one of the guys behind the coin operated museum and uh, game uh, gaming museum uh, place up there in Hopewell Township here in the Pittsburgh area. Today, and, and please check out our friends, sliceonbroadway.com and uh, bullpittsburgh.com. Today, I'm talking about okay, Verge has this article. It's really curious. I'm trying to figure out the use case for this, and maybe you guys can help me with that but a new chrome extension lets you share links with sounds it's called tone you install the uh you install the extension on your chrome browser of course and it you you want to share a link something maybe your profile with another computer maybe you yeah, just sync your account in general it emits as it says in the article a few beeps and boops and that gets picked up by the other computers and now they've synced everything. Thank you. And, and, and the comment here from uh, uh, LB uh, Will from PanelRide.com, WrestlingManshow.com, and says, "Well, at least it's better than QR codes." I'm not sure about that entirely. So, uh, what again? What do you do with this if you're in an office? You know, they, they kind of joke around. You know, to annoy your coworkers with, uh, with 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 this, or maybe this is something I could see this perhaps being something in IT where you're like, okay, I got these computers; they need to go under the same profile. Oh, we'll just do this instead of signing in. Everything's sitting here, you know, in a line. You know, maybe that helps to to sync multiple computers in such a way. But uh, other than that, I, I feel like there's a ten percent project that they're like, it'd be cool if we could do this, and nobody thinks. But who's going to do this? So, what do you think? Do you have any good use cases for Google Tone? Are you trying it out? Does it work for you? I understand from the video, uh, from the article, YouTube Tone surprisingly couldn't be interpreted at all for some reason. So, let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter, wherever you might find this video on Facebook and the YouTubes. And please subscribe to the audio versions on Insta. On iTunes, it starts with an I. That's close enough to Instagram, right? On iTunes as well as uh, 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 Stitcher Smart Radio, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.